All right, guys, welcome back to Bricks and Studs. So here is going to be my first official Lego set review. I've got the Lego Marvel Super Heroes set here. This is for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. They actually only made three of these sets. This is the biggest one. Picked it up for about 50 bucks on sale at Toys R Us. Um, yeah, so it's got an awesome box. This was the biggest eye catcher for me. That's why I picked this specific set up. As you can see, it comes with Nebula, Gamora, Drax, Star-Lord, and the new Baby Groot figure, which is a really small exclusive figure in this set. I really, really appreciate that they included all the people on it, except for, if you don't notice, there's one person missing, and that's Rocket. That's the raccoon guy. But I actually have another set with him in it, so just stand by, and I'll have another review of that set. But back down to this set, you see there's a good selection of characters in it. it. Comes with 460 pieces. I think that's a pretty good brick value ratio. Come back to the back, you can see there's got some cool graphic art on here. It's gonna be an awesome set. So let's get started. So here it is. I've got the Milano right here. And then I have, let's see, here's the Abelisk. Let's start with him. This is crazy, this dude. It's, so during the whole build of this set, I was really, really um, excited and happy about the fact that they used so many cool colors. As you can see, there's a lot of cool colored bricks on this. And it was an interesting build due to the fact that these are just mounted right here on these two clip points right here. It's got a cool little gearing mechanism. When you turn this, it makes them spin around so we can chuck baby Groot all over the place. Uh, these eyes are actually a signature printed tile. There's actually no sticker on that. That's printed. so. Be cool for later on if I ever take it apart and build something else. Let's see, we got Drax right here getting chucked around. Here's his minifigure. He's got his two daggers and his crazy eight pack. It's pretty cool. He's got some cool jet pack right here. Take him off. We'll set him right here. So there's Drax right there. If I can get him to stand up. There we go. So here's Drax, and then there's me right next to Drax. I don't think I stand a chance to that guy. So let's see. So yeah, there's the Abelisk. It has functioning jaws. They close and open so you can chuck people in there. Let's chuck me in there. Boom, and you know, gobble, gobble, he's dead. So you got that right there. Pretty cool. It's got swinging arms. And then here's Baby Groot. Got him right here. Super small. He's very, very small compared to the little Lego dudes. So yeah, there's Baby Groot. I'm putting him next to Drax and you can see just how small he really is. It's awesome, I love this little character. He's got some cool prints on him, very wood-like. Now onto the big ship, let's start over here. So I actually threw Rocket into this review just cause he's so cool looking. And I'm gonna end up doing all the reviews of all the sets anyways, but yeah, here's Rocket. He's got his cool guns on and stuff. And his headpiece, there's actually nothing under there. It's actually just a whole entire assembly that just goes on top of the lego body so that's kind of cool there's no underneath head which would have made it kind of creepy if you would have taken off the top of his head so yeah there he is he's got a cool tail piece some cool art on the back of his torso cool jacket with some little utility belt clips so throw him over there and then we've got star lord now this is an awesome awesome lego dude i really like this right here it's got his jetpack just using the classic city binoculars mounted on his back with the little brace that goes around his neck got his helmet he's got some really cool printing on there he's got some cool hallucinogenic eyes he's got his cool little pistol guns that shoot lasers and stuff his armor it's awesome lego guy right there sit him over here next to all the other people so to the ship now which I really, really enjoyed building this. There's a lot of cool colors of the bricks. Got a lot of detail. The underneath isn't so pretty, except for you can see the little bombs that are gonna drop, which I can show you in a little later. Got some boosters on the bottom to get it up off the ground. Let's see. Got a, that's actually not a printed tile. That is a sticker right there. That's, I mean, that's okay though. It's a pretty cool look to it. Got those little feathery wings out here. Just mounted on by a Technic piece. Got the front. These are both stickers as well. Same with right here. Those are stickers and this is a sticker. So there's not a whole lot of printed tiles, but the one that is printed is something that is awesome if you do like Guardians of the Galaxy. So this piece is printed as well. This is the cargo area where you can sit in the cockpit. So here's some more characters as well. So here's Gamora. She's the crazy mean green lady from the movie. 
She's got some cool violet infused in her hair with the black as well. Got some cool accents on her face of the new silver color on her green skin. So she's pretty cool. Comes with a couple swords as well for her. And then we've got Nebula. Now in the movie, I haven't seen it yet, but I'm assuming this is one of the crazy bad guys. He's all chained up and they're getting ready to take him to space prison or whatever they do to these guys. Maybe we don't want to know. So he's got a really cool look to him. I really like that they paid so much attention to detail that they gave him a chrome arm and a blue arm. And he's got two different colored hands as well. No alternate face on the back. He's got a really cool look to it. Maybe he's got a helmet on. So yeah, he's cool looking. So that's all the guys. But this piece right here, this is a printed piece and it looks very cool. It's a cassette player from the movie because you know Star-Lord, he always likes to play his classic songs. Yeah, there's a cockpit area. You got two little sticker computer screens down there, a place for each person to sit. Got two stud shooters right here. Fire one right there. So you got stud shooters. This thing's totally equipped to go through the galaxy with not, not a single problem. So you got the Milano right there. You can drop some bombs. There's a little Technic pin right here. You push this down and it actually releases these bombs. And they'll shoot down if I can get it, sorry. Boom, and it'll drop both of the little bombs right down onto the ground or maybe onto this ugly fellow over here. But yeah, I think it's really cool. A lot of good look with this orange color and this cool like dark, dark indigo blue. Really vibrant colors. I really enjoy this. I like how they included the sand color inside the uh, interior. It looks great. You got a vent right there. And, and if you turn it around, you got some boosters for when you blow through space. You know, you got to get it going real fast. So, yeah, I really like this set. I really enjoy the Lego guys that were included. I think it was a really good value. It took me about 40 minutes to build this. So, not too long, not too short, just enough time to have fun and keep myself entertained. And then you, I'm setting up all these Lego guys for us to look at, get a better look at them. Here's Drax over here. Let's, see. Let's get Baby Groot in on this. Okay. So these are the people that you'll get with the set. And they've all got really cool little accessories they come with. Gamora actually comes with a couple swords that she can hold. Star Wars got his two guns. And I almost forgot, but underneath the helmet, he actually does have a face that looks just like Chris Pratt, the actor. So let's pop that off. There he is right there. He's got that classic look. It almost looks like the Lego Indiana Jones head from uh, the Lego Indiana Jones series, which uh, is now retired. But he actually has an alternate face as well, more of a, grr, I'm going to shoot you kind of face, you know. So yeah, it's pretty good look for these Lego people. I really like what Lego's done with this set. They've added a lot of details and I really appreciate that. You can never get enough details. And so yeah, I really like this set. It's really cool. And um, so if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and uh, eventually maybe I'll be giving this set away. If I get enough subscribers, I'll start throwing out some giveaways. But so far, I've really enjoyed this set. It's really cool. There's some good playability features to it and yeah. Everyone, thank you for watching my video. Thanks for coming back to Brick and Studs. Keep coming back because it's only going to get better. First video's not the best. Um, this one definitely isn't the greatest video. I need a better camera. I need a better studio. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching and go ahead and subscribe, like the video, and keep coming back so I can make my uh, videos even better. Thanks.